hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is timmy kemza james so in this video i'm going to show you how to sew a play skirt for a child or a frog skirt whatever you like to call it so i want to fold it just like the way you fold your hanky so i'm going to be using a total of one yard for this project so i fold it in half and then i fold to the opposite side of the first half that i folded to get this square shaped folding so this angle here is what you want to get so that you can mark the radius of your circle to find the radius of your waist you're going to be dividing your waist plus zip allowance by 6.28 then whatever you get is what you're going to mark then from that point you mark the length of your skirt now by the time i did that the first time i discovered the length was not really enough for me so i had to fold a little bit more and then i marked my radius again and then i'm marking the length of my skirt just in this motion you see me doing then you go ahead and trace off your point and then you're going to cut out your print i started cutting out from the hem then the next thing is to cut out the radius on the waist i left a little bit of allowance so that's why you're seeing that i did not cut exactly on the chalk then i went ahead to open one side of the flea because you know it's rounded then i also went ahead to cut out lining for it off camera right so this is what the flea looks like when it's full, just like i opened it by one layer so the space is not enough for me to show you the entire thing but it's just a circle with another circle in the center and then i have this opening that i told you i did on one side of the flea right so now i'm going to cut the waistband so i just folded that fabric in half and then i'm cutting out the length of the waistband as desired and i'm going to iron it but before then this is the lining piece that i cut so now this skirt is going to be two ways so you can wear this side the lining side i use satin so it's actually beautiful on its own so i made it in such a way that the child can wear both sides both the lining side and the ankara side or the print side as well so for the satin i didn't have enough fabric so because of that i have two cuts instead of one cut on one side right so i'm going to be joining one of the cuts so in order to make it not just look like it was just cut just like that i'm going to be adding a pocket which i cut out two pieces of this pocket bag by just laying my hands and tracing it off nothing special about it so now let's head to the sewing machine now first off i'm going to be joining the pocket side which is basically joining one side of the um cut which i will just start joining from the beginning like 1.5 inches downward then from there i'll measure the length of the of the pocket as i want then i'll leave that place open and continue joining to the other hem just like you can see so this is what it looks like you can see the pocket side is still open i did not sew that place um closed right so this is what by the time you open that's what you'll be seeing the pocket so i grabbed one of the pocket bag and i opened the seam allowances like so then i placed my pocket bag on top of that point and then i stitch i'm stitching on one side of the seam allowance guys so the right side is facing right side right so i did you can see what it looks like so i did the same thing for the other pocket bag ensuring that the pocket bags matches together they both start and stop at the same point because i'm going to come back and sew them together so by the time i'm done i just you can see we already have a pocket opening then i'm going to close the pocket by starting from where the seam um the straight seam there started and go round on the pocket body so that you can put your hands inside the pocket bag without losing anything it's safe to do two seams here and then overlock as well so that you don't lose things from using the pocket but whichever way is fine so i'm going to trim down part of the excesses and i'll make a notch at the corners of the pocket bag right so this is it our pocket is already done so it's remaining for me to press it down so before i do that i'm going to be joining my um skirts that's the main bodies now i'll go ahead and 
sew it close then i'll add my zipper but before sewing it, before i sew it close i'll just mark my zipper points like so then i'll join the sides together right now the length of the zip you leave you start from where you want your zip to stop all the way to the hem i went ahead to sew it to that hem and i backstitched at the hem so by the time i was done i just went ahead to install my zipper using my zipper foot so at this point already i was using my zipper foot already for this project because i was too lazy to change my zipper foot from when i added zipper from the pro previous project so i just continued so it was a great <laughs> It was just a great relief for me to know that I didn't have to change my foot. So this is my zipper foot and it's done. Now I'm going to be joining the from the hem side of my lining as well. On the other side that is open, I will join up until that point where my zipper started. So I'll measure from the hem to where my zipper ended, right? So when I get to that point, I'll backstitch and I'll stop stitching from there. Then the next thing that I'm going to do is to join the main dress to the lining piece or to the other side. Now I'll grab, starting from the zipper side, I'll grab the matching side, right side matching, right side, right? Then using that same zipper foot, I'll go ahead and sew so that it helps me control where my zipper teeth stops. So that's what I'm just trying to sew all the way down so that my zipper allowances will be concealed inside that's why i'm doing this method but if you don't mind your zipper allowance being outside you can go ahead and close off your skirt just like you would do any other skirt right so i just went ahead to continue sewing guys it's not about speed at this point right you want to get these things nicely done so you can see that side is done so i'll flip to the other side I match right sides together as well and then i'll sew my zipper side close as well now don't forget to backstitch at any point where you start sewing right then i'll continue to sew all the way down till i finish off my zipper then i'll come to finish off my hem So by the time I'm done, you can see what the zipper looks like. It's really nice and clean and everything is sitting on the inside, right? So both the wrong side and the right side looks clean. Then now I'm going to grab the right side of that zipper side, which is going to be my center back on the main bodies. Then I'll join them together like this and then I'll put my hands inside and turn it so that I can have right side facing right side and sew on the wrong side. Right? So that's just me finishing off the hem of the skirt. So that's for those who don't understand what I mean. So I'll just go ahead and stitch like that all the way and then the skirt will almost be done. So guys, after this, after this part of this video, guys, a lot of things happened. It took me, it took me over two weeks to add the waistband on this skirt because on that day, my knees just fainted. And then after that, I left the sewing to attend to her. I did not sew again until I moved from my old house to where I am now. I've moved um, from my previous space. So until i moved to this new place before i was able to fix my waistband after finishing off this hem so by the time i was done doing that this is like two weeks plus later so i now have my waistband and i've ironed it i folded it in half ironed it and finished it off nicely like this so it's just a straight strip of fabric now i'm going to finish off the two corners so i'll just fold it like this and make a straight seam all the way to the to the hem or i'll just sew straight like this and conceal the corners or the edges because i'm not using hook and eye right trim down the excess sewing allowance right then i'll just flip it back to the right side use my scissors to bring out the corners properly and then now i'm going to fix my waistband 
this is what i would do i'm not going to start i'm not going to start fixing from the side i'll start from the middle so i'll just find the midpoint of the waistband by folding it in half like so so this midpoint here is where i'm going to start um my waistband from so before then i'll just sew the waist close like so have this skirt in one piece now like so so i'm going to find the midpoint of the skirt as well or the center point which i already have that's where my pocket is you remember so i'll just make a notch there then i'll go ahead and start sewing now so remember the midpoint of our waistband here so i'll just place the mark on that point then I'm going to marry this skirt I'll just in between I'll just place my skirt inside like so and I'll conceal it like this then I'll go ahead and top stitch so I'll just keep doing that until everything is nice and so don't talk in too much i'm just trying to do it as small as possible so that it doesn't shorten the length of the skirt it back to the other side and i'll sew this other side just like i did to this one as well i'll start from this side instead so i'll just find how to tuck it properly i need to stay then i'm going to pin it down on that point Start sewing from Stitch when you get to the midpoint. So by the time I'm done closing off this other side, that is it. I'll just go ahead and give the hem a good press and give the entire skirt a good press as well. Now I'm focusing on the hem because I don't want the Ankara side to be showing on the satin side, neither do I want the satin showing on the Ankara. And when I was done, this is the finished look. So I wore it on this mannequin. Obviously, it's for a child, so it cannot close off on the mannequin. So this extra allowance I have is so that I can tie it. So that side can be at the back or in front of the skirt. Is or at the at the side of the skirt is still fine. So by the time you reverse the skirt, this is what it looks like. It's so beautiful, guys. So and I'm so glad that the child will be so happy that she can wear when i mean a child she's not so small i think she's like 12 years old or so and these are our pockets that we added here so if you're using the pocket side it has to be on the side and the zipper will have to be on the side as well so thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoy it please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed guys and follow me on all my social media pages Sumatize is the page name. See you in my next video, guys. Bye.